I was smoking some skunks the other night. They come in here the other night, <laughs> and I, I get those, dog, those uh, skunks are eating the dog food. Oh my God. They sprayed, and I'd get it in the middle of the night, put Vicks under my nose. It smelled so bad. It was bad. So uh, I come out, and we dispatch some skunks. Well, welcome to the Mendota Ranch. Welcome back, I guess. Um, if you remember this colt here, this is the colt that we had uh, snubbed that other horse you saw me do the first ride on. Little son, so we're gaining on him. We got him tied to the fence. Little son. And um, we're getting there. But the good news is we got a, uh, we picked one name and that one name, oh, sir. that one name, three people picked the same name. So, oh, sir. so the, um, so we're giving out three caps instead of, instead of one. really good the other day with this. Oh, quite good today. He's still a biter. Oh, son. Oh, boy. Oh, son. There we go. So, let me get this back cinch and I'm going to get the name. I got a list of the names. Got you. Oh. Seems kind of dangerous. Sit there and think about it. Let me get my name. So, so here's the deal. If you didn't, uh, if you didn't put a name in, you don't get to win this cap. So the name, well, so the the people that want it, I've got a Mitch Coleman, a Junior Archer, and a Jennifer Maston. And they picked Mendota Clay. Well, I picked Mendota Clay. They picked Mendota Clay. I picked their name. So Mendota Clay is what his registration name will be. He'll be registered under the American DNA registry because he's um, out of a clone. He's out of two clones, actually. Corridor Association thinks clones don't exist. So, so what they win, the better part, a cap. I just got horse hair all over. So it says, this is what we give out it's got uh, at the Mendota Ranch, American flag, and then on the back it says door gunner. So the only way to get this besides winning this award, picking a name, is you have to essentially graduate from the helicopter shooting uh, school that we put on here. So yeah, congratulations to Mitch Jr. and Jennifer. I'll be sending y'all um, a comment. I'll be commenting on your comment. Give me your address so I can send you this. Now, if you didn't get it, I've got one more horse. I've got another horse we need to name. So let me get this other horse out and I want y'all to pick a name on it. And let me tell you some kind of hints of, for names. So of course, the Mendota Ranch, that's always good. The Stallion's name, you need to have, if you can, work that in. The Mare's name, work that in. Um, you know, stuff like that is kind of where you want to go. Some of these names we get were pretty kind of off the wall kind of stuff. That's probably not going to work. Um, I mean, I like them. They were good. But when we name horses, we kind of like to name them after their parents a little bit, if you can. And, you know, have one of their parents named in there. So whenever we say Mendota Clay, then everybody knows. They know, oh, well, that, well, that's out of Clay's, Clay's little peppy, you know. So, um, yeah. All right, well, let me get this other horse out and we'll... Uh, ride him around a bit and I want to tell you she's got kind of a long story and it has to do with COVID and all that but I'll I'll tell you the story about her it's always good it's always a good idea to screw your hat down the other day the other day is a day after leg day and I mean I was really 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 sore and I thought well I'll go ride a colt kind of loosen up well she I got down that end arena and she bucked all the way back down to here and got the last jump, my hat came off. 
and my I was hurting so bad <laughs> after that. I'm like, I rode the rest of the day without my hat on or the rest of the evening. I sure was hoping nobody'd drive up and see me riding around without a hat on. Whoa. What's that, What's that all about? Oh, well, I don't know why you're all busy. Well, okay. So here's the deal. We need to name this little colt here, or she's not little. Um, I'm gonna keep riding her around so you can kind of. She's still a little fresh. She doesn't want to stand still very good. So here's the story on this horse here. She is out of my uh, Playboy's Ruby clone, which is we call a Ruby 2. So Ruby 2 is the clone of Playboy's Ruby. Playboy's Ruby was the second. She might be now the third. I don't know. All-time leading producer, cutting horse producer. So that means, what essentially what that means is her offsprings have produced more money than anybody else. This is close to three million, which is pretty good. And she's and and uh, the original Playboy's Ruby's been dead all oh, several years now. But I, I've got the clone, Playboy's Ruby or Ruby Two is what we call her. Okay, so that that's who she's out of. And then she's by Metallic Cat. So so Metallic Cat. So she's by Metallic Cat, and Metallic Cat is the um, leading sire. So if you don't in the cutting horse, so if you don't know what that means is um, his offsprings each year have been have been winning more than anybody else's. And her her story is she was she was the last frozen embryo that I've got out of Metallic Cat in my. My, uh, Ruby 2. So Ruby 2, uh, whenever a metallic cat was standing here in Amarillo, we froze a bunch of embryos out of Ruby. And this is my last frozen embryo. And what I did is I sold her to a cutting horse trainer buddy of mine. This has been a year ago. And we traded, we, we made this trade. And she was a two-year-old, and he was going to take her and train her, you know, for the cutting pen. Well, then COVID hit, and all the shows got canceled, and so pretty much his world got canceled. Canceled, and we, you know, I kept thinking, oh, it's no big deal. You know, this still lasts a month or two. Well, a month or two, six months, and of course, y'all, as you know, we're still putting up with it. So. I gathered her up a couple months ago. She's been turned out. I know she looks really rough. That's, she's just been turned out in the pasture. And I just gathered her up. So now she's now she's three. So of course she's not gonna go to the, she's not gonna make a show horse anymore. Um, because normally when when a cutting horse we want we need to be getting them ready for the fertility, which is uh, the three year old year, you know, so it'd be, you know, eight, nine, ten months from now that they would be showing them. So obviously she's not going to make that because she's a year behind. So what I hope to do is just make a good ranch horse out of her. And I really like her. She's, um, she's really pretty quiet, super, super light in the mouth. She's got, so you see me riding her around. I want to ride her around for you because I've only got about 45 days on her right now. And I've, She's been outside a few times. I started her on the flag a couple days ago. Uh, she seemed really cowy. She laid down with me the other day over there working on that flag. And it just, you know, it's just probably just too much. Cause so I, so I hadn't worked on the flag anymore. So I just kind of backed off her up there cause I, that tells me she, I was putting too much pressure on her. And other than that, she's pretty gentle. She, uh, she did try to buck me off the other day pretty hard but no, nah, she wasn't bad she didn't get it done obviously she got my hat off that's about it so what I want to do I want to do another contest um, 
we named, named this horse. So uh, I think I told you about everything I can. She's pretty light. She's a pretty big, she's, she's going to have a big stop. She's going to have a big stop. And um, I'm going to keep riding her and I'll give you the progress. But I, wanna, I want y'all to help me name her. And it's the same deal. If I pick your name, then I'll send you a, um, my, one of my rotor recoil caps. So remember, um, here's the deal. She's out of Ruby 2, which is the clone of Playboy's Ruby. She's out of Metallic Cat. Metallic Cat's not a clone. Metallic Cat is, you know, he's a, he's a leading sire right now. She was a frozen embryo. Uh, thanks to COVID, she's delayed a year. So, I don't know. She was born and raised on the Mendota Ranch. I think that's 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 some pretty good that's some pretty good stuff. So, all right. So give me a name, and uh, I'll give you a month. March, we'll uh, we'll pick uh, we'll pick the winner, and I'll send you a cap. All right. That's about all I got for today. Uh, I'm sorry you didn't get to see me get bucked off or nothing. So it's all good. See y'all later. Thanks for following me. Good. Hey, congratulations to the people that won the caps. I will be sending that to you. Thanks. See you. You got me acting out. You. Oh, tenderness is out the window. What you do to me when the cold bites blue